related to it and others. If there is an election in this country that went beyond ethnic barriers and tribalism, it is the election of 2022. We saw configurations that had never been seen before or even ever imagined that those configurations can take place. On one side, we had the Azimio team and people were shocked. They were saying, can Uhuru and the other people support Raila? Is it possible that it can happen? It happened. On this other side, there was Ruto campaigning. And people were saying, is it possible that the people from the mountain can vote for Ruto? And there were others who are saying these communities, how, because we were used to imagining that you'll place and deal with the, the politics on ethnic lines. But 2022 showed us that ethnic lines do not matter. So I want to appeal to the nation that let us not go back to tribal tendencies. Let us not try and go back to where we left. We left those dark days where our politics was determined purely by ethnic configurations. We broke that in 2022. I want to appeal to the people of Kenya that let us not be cheated or deceived to go back to any ethnic engagements for purposes of our destiny. As Kenya, we must be one, we must be united, and we must allow Kenyans to have the right and freedom to vote for a leader of their choice, irrespective